the one visa support round trip from participants home country to US, monthly allowance of housing, meals, and other living expenses. You may not be fortunate to get a scholarship to come to US, but these are um, short opportunities you may want to take advantage of because they will bring you closer to your dream. Imagine visiting US and going back to your country. You know, you have an advantage if you ever or maybe have the opportunity to come to US, okay? So let's look at this application quickly. Um, you don't have to pay anything, so why not take in the advantage? This is 2024 Community Solutions Program. Application Instructions, okay? And it says here, applications for 2024 Community Solution Program will be accepted Will be will be accepted beginning Wednesday, October 16, 2024, uh, just one day before recording this at 9 um, a.m. EDT application must be submitted online. You can see here, you click here by Wednesday, November the 13, 2024, at 11:59 p.m. EDT to be considered. Applications that are mailed fax or email to irx will not be accepted please direct any question after reading this document too so you have somewhere to ask questions when completing the application please note but before we come to this let's look at the eligibility requirement okay um to be eligible for the community solutions program applicants must meet the requirements listed below applications that do not meet the eligibility the eligibility requirement must be this will be disqualified. Sorry, guys, and will not be reviewed by the selection committee. Please note that the U.S. Department of State and IREX reserve the right to verify all information included in the individual's application. In the event that there is a discrepancy, that means there is a difference or information is found to be false, the application will immediately be disqualified. And so, starting here, you can see you are between the age of 26, 39. As of November 13, 2024, you are a citizen of one of the eligible countries listed below. We'll get to that soon. You are living and working in your home country. Individuals with refugee status working on behalf of their home country may be given special consideration. You have at least two years of, of experience working on community development, either as a full-time or a part-time employer or volunteer. So get this one. You are not currently participating in academic training or research program in the U.S. Like someone like me here, I'm not qualified for this. You have a high level of proficiency in spoken and written English at the time of application. Finalists and alternatives will be um, required to take an English language exam or submit recent scores for to offer IELTS or Duolingo. Uh, language exams application deadline when is in november 13. okay now it continues says you are eligible to travel to the us for four months on a j1 visa um, that's exchange from august 11 to december 5th 2025 so the by 2025 next year you travel Okay, you are not a citizen or, or permanent resident of the U.S. and have not applied for U.S. permanent residency within the past three years. You are eligible to receive U.S. G1 visa. Applicants who have participated in the exchange program sponsored by the U.S. government must have fulfilled their two-year two home residency requirement. Okay, that means you must have returned to your country and spent there for at least a minimum of two years before applying back if you have had the opportunity to come to U.S. through exchange program. You are committed to re returning, to committed to returning to your country, to your home country, for a minimum of two years after completing the program. That means you have to go there and spend like two years back. You are not a current IREX employee or consultant or their immediate family member. Um, you can see the eligible countries here. Yeah? This is Africa, Botswana, Cameroon, Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya, Ghana. Guinea, Liberia, Malawi, Mozambique, Nambia, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Um, Nigeria is not on the list. East, East Asian and Pacific, Bruni, Boma, um, Cambodia, Federated State of Micronesia, Fiji, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, 
Mongolia, Papua New Guinea, Philippine Republic of the Marshall Island, Singapore, Solomon Island, Thailand, Timor, Leste, Vanuatu, Environment, Europe, Albania, Botswana, uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, the Czech Republic, Estonia, um, Hungary, Kosovo, Latvia, Lithuania, uh, North Macedonia, Malta, Moldova, Montenegro, Romania, Serbia, Slovakia, Turkey, and Ukraine, uh, Middle East and North Africa, Algeria, Bran, Egypt, Iran, Israel, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Morocco, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Tunisia, United Arab Emirates, and West Bank or Palestinian territories, South and Central Asia, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Kazakhstan, Palestinian, um, Kazakhstan, uh, Maldives, Nepal, sorry, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, uh, Tajikistan, Tajikistan, uh, Turkmenistan, and Pakistan, uh, West. Then Hemisphere, Argentina, Bahamas. Okay, as you can see on the list, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica. I just want to save time. And so now, this is basically the selection process. After the deadline, all <clears throat> eligible applications will receive a preliminary review by the CSP um, staff before being shared with the selection panel that consists CSP alumni not from the applicant countries of citizenship, representative from the CSP US partner organization and technical expert. Applicants must pass the preliminary reading review stage and meet the criteria listed in the application material, will be identified as semi-finalists and invited to, a com to complete a recorded interview and submit a CV finalist and Alternate will then be selected. Final acceptance into the program will depend on the individual's or applicant's performance on an English exams unless finalists meet certain except exceptions requirements. Sorry. And this is just the timeline. You can read this one. So let's go now when completing your application. Uh, when completing the application, please note, use one email through email address throughout the entire CSP application and selection process. Applications must be completed online. Applicants that are limited, that are mail, fix, or email, of course, will not be accepted. Applications, rather. Um, questions that are marked with a red asterisk must be answered. If a required question does not apply to you, enter NA. That means not applicable. Do not translate the spelling of the names or location into English, only into the English alphabet. Um, other other than names and location, write all answers in English. Applications that are not completed in English will be disqualified. Applicants must be complete. Applications must be completed solely by the applicant. Uh, this they are just saying is basically. <laughs> applications must be submitted by Wednesday. Of course, uh, applications must authentically communicate. Uh, communicate and leave the experience of the applicant. Does the you of the use of AI language models in the application will result in automatic disqualification. That means like they are basically um, just emphasizing for you to be original, yeah, okay? Um, you can submit your application through this one, but some people may not know what this program is about. So I'm taking you back. So me, I think you should be able to see something here. Um, so we have a sense of, those that are actually qualify. Um, I think there is an area here. Maybe you need to know. And these are basically this financial support and benefit. G1 visa support round trip from participants' home country to US monthly allowance of housing, meals, and other living expenses. Accidental, accidents and sickness health coverage access accessibility accommodations such as ADA, accessible rooms, and community support services. We talked about this, and uh, I need to show you something. So if you are passionate about, okay, so let's go now to my email because this is something I see from my email, and 
I wanted to show this one to you guys. Um, so if you can see here, CSP is a, is a year long leadership development program designed for experienced community leaders working in democracy and human rights, environment, peace and conflict resolution and women, women and gender um, issues. So if we go back now, let's just click this one and let's see what's the application like. Open the link, yes. Um, let's see. So once you open the link, you can create your application. You can see 2025-2026 Community Solution Program. And you can see here, okay? Click here to start a new application. So just click and start a new application. I don't know what is in there, basically. And if you click here right now, let's see what happens. Okay. So data use and privacy policy, you get all of this, you take the consent, save, continue. Let me see. Now create your account. You write your email, um, send confirmation email, you click on that. And I don't know what is inside the application, but I guess it's something very easy to do. Or even if it's difficult, it is what is, then put in the time. Okay, guys. I just want to share this one and I think it's very important. So some of us don't have the greatest not about grade. Not, nothing like that, basically. So focus on this for you to get an opportunity to come to US and develop yourself. See you. Um, please share this one to others. Thank you.